Hey guys, it's Tina and I am back for yet another haul video. But this one was planned, it was expected, this one you guys probably anticipated and you guys have asked me questions about it and that is the Sephora Holiday VIB sale. And most people plan for this sale. Anybody who loves beauty and is immersed in beauty and the, is just a beauty connoisseur, they know all about this sale from Sephora. They have it every year around the same time in the beginning of November. They have a 20% off sale for their VIB and VIB Rouge now and also their BI members. And this year they did it a little bit differently which I didn't expect and I didn't quite appreciate. They split it into sale periods. So VIB Rouge members, which are the members that spend far too much at Sephora, had early access to the sale and our sale was from the 9th to I believe the 12th. So we had four days to shop and then the code for the VIB members, which spend a lot of money too but not as much as Rouge because Rouge is just crazy. But the VIB members also have their sale period and it started today the 13th and it's going on to the 16th. So you have four days to shop as well. And the thing that's different about this year, usually the sale starts early for VIB Rouge members. So you'll have like, okay, it starts the 9th, but it runs until the 16th and VIB Rouge members can shop that entire time, but they have early access. So they, they get the sale a few days before regular members or VIB members. This year, not so much. This year, we cannot shop, we cannot use the code during the VIB segment of the sale. So I was hoping to pick up a few more items during the VIP, the VIB timeline, but I'm not going to be able to because the code doesn't work for us. And I'm just like, what are you doing, Sephora? Why did you do this? Why did you do this? Because people are probably hold, were holding out. Uh, waiting for the VIP portion and thought they could shop but nope you can't you can't only VIB Rouge will be a VIBs will be able to shop now when this video goes live so the VI members too so there are other members that don't shop as much as VIBs or VIB Rouges but still shop at Sephora what I'm hearing is that they're gonna do what they do every year is send you a gift card So you get like $15 off a purchase or $20 off a purchase of $50 or more or $30 or more Something along that line. I remember it from last year. It was a certain dollar amount off like uh, another dollar amount So 15 off 50 just look out for that in the mail in your email check that Typically they have that for just the BI members. So if you're a part of their Beauty Insider Club, which is what BI stands for, then you'll get that gift card. Anyway, I'm going to jump into what I picked up and if we have enough time, I'm going to jump into the recommendations for the haul. If not, I'll just split it in another video. So you guys stay tuned. Either it's going to be included in this one big video or we're going to split it off. Whichever one comes first, which however long this video ends up being. But like I said, I'm at a different, well, like I said, I didn't grab that much and I'm at a different angle so I can reach over and grab things. I didn't grab that much this year just because again, I was anticipating being able to still shop during the VIB segment, but lo and behold, I am not. And I was hauling massively anyway, so I grabbed things during the friends and family sale, which I did get 20% off. So I didn't really have that much stuff that I wanted to pick up. So I'm just going to randomly jump into the stuff that I got. So I'll just grab the fragrance first. I grabbed the Marc Jacobs Daisy Ew So Fresh um, spray. I grabbed the largest bottle they had. I got the 4.25 fluid ounces. I wanted to grab a new fragrance this year because I usually get perfumes during the sale, either the Ulta sale or the Sephora sale. The Ulta sale this year was a disappointment because you couldn't get fragrance. So I got this from Sephora for 20% off, brought back whatever I got from Ulta for this guy here. So I got the big kahuna and with 20% off I saved quite a bit on this. This is a very light fragrance and I was looking for a light fragrance. If, if you've watched my other videos or heard me speak about fragrance, I like light and fresh scents. So it's like perfect for me to do ooh, ooh the fresh, so fresh, ooh so fresh, yes. I don't know how you pronounce that. But I have Gucci Envy Me, which is my favorite fragrance. I have the Gucci 2 and I have the Nirvana White and Black from last year. Love those, 
absolutely divine fragrances. And then I also grabbed this guy here. Let me grab these boxes. Oh, I grabbed the um the Caudalie Parfume Divine de Caudalie, which is uh Uda Parfume. And this contains how much, how many ounces? 1.7 ounces. And this guy is pretty new to the Caudalie lineup. If you've ever had the Divine Oil from Caudalie, it has that fragrance. So I am so happy that they decided to go ahead and do a fragrance because I used to apply the, the Caudalie Divine Oil to my hair and to my skin just so I could get that scent. Not necessarily because I wanted to add oil to my skin or to my hair, but I wanted to smell like this. And I'm so happy that now I can smell like this without applying oil to my skin. And it smells just like Divine Oil, but it has a little bit of a sweeter fragrance. And I don't typically, I sprayed it on my thing, my wrist. I don't typically go for sweet, but there is something about this that's light enough and not overly sweet or syrupy or sugary that I can stand it. And it's so, it smells so good. So grab this guy. Smell this guy, okay? If you like Divine Oil, and this is everything. Speaking of Divine Oil, I grabbed my Divine Oil. Um, again, it's a body... Face. I'm not putting this on my face, but it's a body, face, and hair oil, and it smells so good. I grabbed the largest bottle because I love this for my hair. It makes my hair really shiny and smells really good, but without being greasy or weighed down, which I like. I went in store a couple of months ago, and I was choosing between this and the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil. It's like hair, invisible hairdresser oil, and there was a Bumble and Bumble representative in there and she was like oh what are you here for and I'm like oh I'm just trying to see which one I want to get because I had a sample of the Bumble and Bumble woman and I liked it and she sold me on the freaking Bumble and Bumble even though I was leaning towards divine oil because I love it and the Bumble and Bumble was nice and I wanted to try something different so she swayed me she gave me the spiel and she really did her job which was to sell me the crap and I got it it's not a bad oil not at all. It's a nice hair oil, but for me, I need an oil that absorbs completely into my hair and doesn't leave it oily and greasy because I don't wash my hair more than once a week. You know, I try to avoid washing my hair. Okay, I might wash it twice, but I try to avoid washing my hair too much, so I don't need it to be oily, oily all the time. So, I prefer this over the Bumble and Bumble one. I kept the Bumble and Bumble one because it's nice. But the Divine Oil, if you've never tried this, try it. They have a smaller size that's much more inexpensive, much cheaper. Just use that word. So it's like, just get it and try it out. So that's what I got. And then, oh, I'll just quickly tell you this. I grabbed a Cinema Secrets Professional Makeup Brush Cleanser. and The starter kit. I actually grabbed the starter kit, which has this and the tin. Where did I put the tin? There's a brush cleaner. Oh, here it is. It's a tin. This is what you're supposed to pour the cleanser in. And this is a really good cleanser. And here's the problem with this. This is why I was hoping that I could use the coupon during the VIB portion. I got the starter kit fine. So I have the tin, which is $6. So I got that with this for the same price as just buying this alone. Anyway, that's not the point. They didn't have the 36 ounce one, which is the Big Mama, which is the one I wanted. So I was, they're now back in stock. I got the email and I'm like, now I can't even get it. And I'm like, really? This code doesn't work. And I was having, a, I was so upset. And my friend, Demi, D Demi, here on YouTube and on Twitter, she was like, oh, do you want to use my code? I'm like, yeah, do you want me to send you the money? What do you need me to do? Talk to me. She was like, no, I'll give you my account information. You can log in and do it. I'm like, you trust me like that? What? She's like, yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm like, really? That is so freaking sweet. And I meet, I've met some really great people here just from having a channel and being in this community. And I must say, I don't, my best friends in real life, in real life, my best friends aren't into makeup like I am. And to meet people here that I can call my makeup besties, it's really, it's really nice for me to have people that I can share this love with. And I, I just feel 
I don't know. Like, I'm so happy. So thank you again, Demi. Thank you so much for letting me order on your account so I could get the actual Cinema Secrets large guys because I ordered two of them. Hello. So I got those, but it's a really good brush cleaner. But I had to tell you that story because it, it touched my heart and it was so freaking sweet of her to do that for me. So thank you again, Demi. So those guys are on their way. They will be coming shortly. Moving on, I grabbed, um, this is a new brand to Sephora, I'm assuming. I've never seen this before, but it's a, it's Belief. It's B-E-L-I-F. And they have a Hydra Sebum Control Essence, right? And it's said to reduce sebum level by 20%, so it's reducing your oil, right? And it says, apply to face and neck after cleansing and toning, use daily. And I am, I look for anything to control my oils, because my oils don't know nothing. They don't have no manners, they just come out and be like, hey, we're here to play. I can put my makeup on, two minutes later, I'm oily, and I'm like, really? This is how we gonna play me like this? So I'm willing to try anything. And I actually tried this, I wore it twice so far. Just under my makeup as my I used it as my moisturizer. I didn't even apply moisturizer. I just used this, and um, it really helped to control the oil. So I'm like, is this a fluke? Am I just you know that placebo effect? Like you're like, oh, it's gonna work, and it works, but it didn't really work. You just it's all in your head. So I'm gonna continue to use this, but it actually did really good. Like you can feel it get tacky on your skin, and I wonder if it has. Let's see what it has glycol and it does have it has glycerin in it dimethicone and glycerin as one of the first like five ingredients so glycerin helps to hold product to your skin it's really tacky so it actually helps to hold your foundation in place too so hmm I like it I like it a lot and then um something that I think everybody should get during the sale Stuff that they definitely need, brow pencils. So I went ahead and grabbed some Brow Wiz. I grabbed a few Brow Wizzes, didn't I? Yep, I grabbed four Brow Wizzes just to hold me over until the next sale <laughs> because I grabbed them in dark brown. So I have my brow pencils and I recommend getting brow pencils because, I mean, just get brow pencils. And I also grabbed the Urban Decay brow pencil in neutral brown. Now this, again, same price as the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, but it has less product. This one has 0 .003 and this one has 0 .001. So this is three times as much product versus this. But I really like this color and I really like the formula and the consistency. I really like it and I really like, like I like both of them. And if you were interested in trying out the Urban Decay one, I think it's definitely a go for that because I really, really like it. I also grabbed a tinted brow gel from Anastasia. I've never tried their tinted brow gel. I have the clear one, love the clear one, but I said let me give the tinted one a go. This is the shade Espresso, which is the deepest color they have. Oh, it has a bigger brush. Well, what did I expect? The clear brow gel has the same brush. So we'll see if this is dark enough. My favorite brow gel for my dark haired brows, like I have black eyebrows, is the Pro Longwear, Pro, Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set from MAC in the shade Brown Ebony, which is darker than this guy. So, we'll see how the Anastasia one fares because I really need a dark brow gel. I don't, if I use a lighter brow gel, it's gonna look like, it's gonna look obvious on my brow hairs. So I really prefer to have a dark brow gel that's gonna look better on my brows, like more natural. Not that it's going to look natural, but it looks unnatural when it's light brow gel. Does that make sense? I also grabbed a couple of palettes, eyeshadow palettes. You know I would. I grabbed this one. Where's the box? It's the Becca Ombre Rouge Eye Palette, which is this right here. Let's come in so you can see. This is the warm nude palette from Becca. And they have two of these. There's another one. And I think I have it. Let me grab it too. They have another one that is called the Ombre Nudes Eye Palette. So you have Ombre Rouge and Ombre Nudes. And this is the Ombre Nudes at the bottom. And one's warm tone, obviously, and one's more neutral, cool tones. 
And I like the formula of these eyeshadows. They blend really nicely. They're really smooth. So I said, let me go ahead and grab the warm toned ones. And these are more rosy hues. If you want me to do a swatch and review of the two of these, since I have both now, I can do that. That'd be interested. Interesting. And then, oh, of course I was going to get this. This was one of the things that was just on my list. This is the self-made eyeshadow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Everybody, oh, it's, it's a beautiful package. Like, the palette is beautiful. It's like this textured, is it like a quilted, what do you call this? Canvas. <laughs> it's it's canvas, yeah. But that's what this oh the brush fell out. But this is yeah, it comes with a double-ended brush. But this is what this guy looks like. And it has neutral wearable tones and some pops of color, and everybody has been going crazy about this. I know I have not done my review video on the eyeshadow singles from Anastasia, and I mean to do that. I have the swatches done already, I just have to film the review part. But Anastasia's single eyeshadows, the matte formula and the titanium formula, are some of my favorite eyeshadows on the market. The matte formula actually ties with Makeup Forever's matte formula for me. And that's saying a lot because I love Makeup Forever. Like, Makeup Forever, excuse me, thank you very much. But the matte formula, the matte eyeshadows from Anastasia, I live for. They're beautiful, they blend nicely. The ultra mattes are. Uh, and then the titanium shades and the pink champagne here, I have it in full size. It's a shimmery titanium shade and I can't wait to try this out. I'm really excited about this buttery shade that she had in a previous palette, but I didn't like the other color so I was like, whatever, skip. But she was talking about this eyeshadow, how it's one of her favorite shades because it blends so nicely. So I'm going to see if I like that because I like yellow ivory tones and then this purple here. Oh my god, oh my god. People have been just dying over that purple, so. Really interested in this guy here. And those are the only two palettes that I grabbed. But I did um, grab some single eyeshadows. I grabbed some single eyeshadows from Bobbi Brown. Now, this is what they look like. Let me just show you the box. They come in the box, you know, and this is the eyeshadow thing. But I went to Saks and got the palettes, the empty palettes that you can put them in because I didn't want to. I had a couple before and then I bought a couple more. I didn't, I don't need the singles. You know what I mean? I wanted to put them in a palette. So I got the four count palette to put them in. This color here, this top color here is Black Plum, Plum which is a deep blackened plum shade of. And then this one is Rich Navy. This one is Balsam, which is a green, and this one is Toast. Now, Balsam is a rich dark green. This one is Black Pum, is a matte burgundy shade. Navy is obviously a navy. The pigmentation doesn't pick up because these are new. I think I need to work off the top layer of these because with matte shadows, sometimes you need to work off the top layer for them to really work. But they're deep, smoky shades, and I wanted some matte, rich, like, dark shades. Not just browns, but actual colorful shades. So those are nice. And then I got a neutral palette, so I'll just keep it out here. This is the shade Camel. It looks like a Camel shade. I got Taupe and Toast again. I had duplicates of this. This is what happened, but this is a good blending shade for me. So if I have duplicates, it's not too bad because I would use this more. Then this is Coco right here. This is Rich Brown. And then this is Espresso. So I have good blend, like this is a good blending palette, right? A good neutral blending palette and then some smoky hues to smoke out the look. Very nice. And then I grab, a, let me grab the bag. This is what the bag looks like this year, which is kind of lame. I'm just gonna say it, I'm just gonna say it. It's the black and white stripe, but it has a little, it's small compared to last year. Last year, if you remember, which I still have my bags, they had this guy. Look at, look at the difference. What, what, what is this? What is this? Look at the difference. Oh, the difference that a year makes, but we're gonna press on. So, in this bag I have 
the Elizabeth and James Nirvana dry shampoo black in the friends and family sale I bought the white one so now I have the black because the black and white just go together they go together listen they go together I'm just telling you oh Urban Decay I also grabbed another naked skin ultra definition powder foundation because I love this powder where is it here it is I have hit pan upon pan on the other one on my original so I got a backup because I love this powder this powder is everything it's a great powder foundation and it's a great powder to set your foundation gives you added coverage but you oh it looks so good I'm wearing it now over my foundation I also have the hangover rx coconut water probiotic based ingredient skin reviver what replenishing face primer this is for tired dull, dull skin I'm guessing when long days of work and late nights of play give you a beauty hangover blah 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 blah, blah. boost skin's radiance promote elasticity and help hydrate coconut water is good for hydration hence but I'm wondering if it's just the same difference as the Marc Jacobs invisible undercover perfecting coconut face primer I don't know could be Either way, I got it to try it out. Not that I'm like all about Too Faced right now because they left me jaded. I feel some type of way about them because we're the black beauty bloggers. Like, what? why are we not included in your little... Yeah, yeah. If you watch my other video, you know what I'm talking about. I also grabbed some Urban Decay eyeshadows. Oh my god. You know what? This, this packaging, I should have opened these, but... I grabbed the shade Faint. I think I grabbed a couple of these off the Urban Decay website as well. I may have. This is the color Faint, which is a matte brown. It's one of their, it's a matte, new, very neutral brown. Can you see? It's a very neutral brown, so it has a great undertone. That is actually pretty. I like Urban Decay's matte eyeshadows. I think they're pretty good. Um, formula. The shimmers sometimes leave a lot to be desired, but like they're frost shades like their sh frost shades versus the glittery shades tend to be nice too I got the shade rift which is a camo shade again this could be a good blending shade for me it has micro shimmer in it so I don't think it's gonna show up too much though because it's mostly a matte shade and then I got the shade hijack this is why I think I got a couple from the Urban Decay website because I think some of them are exclusive to Urban Decay but I got hijack which is one of their frosty shades or shimmer shades not glitter shades and it's kind of a muted mildew green actually looks really pretty let me just swatch it oh it's like a duochrome it has t is that brown or am I seeing things I don't know but yeah it's a shimmery it's a beautiful shade it's it is really beautiful and which one is this? This one is Lounge, which is the one that I really wanted to get, which is the, you know those shades that have brown, a brown base and then the green shimmer on top, the duochrome? Yeah, that's what this one is, but it's really smooth and I touched it in store and I'm like, um, yes, I have a few of the shades that look like this, the same reflect, reflex and everything, so I don't even know. And I grabbed Dark Horse which is from the Urban Decay, I believe, Naked 2 palette. I think it's the, Ur yeah, the Naked 2 palette, which is one of those shades that I liked. And it's just a everyday neutral brown shade. It can make a simple smoky eye. So I grabbed it. Again, it's in their um, matte palette. And then I grabbed the NARS Kevin, no, St Kevin Aquan. What? Steven Klein eyeshadow in the shade where oh here it is. This one is Malaka. Malaka. All right. Mm -hmm. Is that is that a not a word you're supposed to use? Again, the shame the the shame. The same brown undertone with a green overlay, but this one is more of a satin rather than a shimmer. And this one has a deeper purple oh this looks a little bit purplish so you see I have a couple of these shades and I also grabbed another Urban Decay eyeshadow but where not Urban Decay NARS eyeshadow 
it's the one that Tara Babies posted on Instagram and made me get. It's her fault. I'm blaming her. And I got Backfire from Urban Decay as well. I'm just grabbing some of these things out of this bag, which is a shimmery. Oh my god. Oh, that's pretty as hell. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That is beautiful. It's like a purple. The camera focus right now is on a different setting, so it's not going to zoom in. But anyway, wow. I need to do some swatches for you guys of those because those are beautiful. And then, you know, let me show you this eyeshadow that I grabbed from... No, let me not show you that. I'll show you that. Somewhat. Should I show you? I'll think about it. I also grabbed the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder Highlight Number 1 which I've swatched in store. I like it. It's a, it is a matte radiance. It gives a very beautiful effect to the skin without being too shimmery or glittery or crazy. And it's like a satin matte. Looks like that. It looks very light. But because it's a baked, very soft, you see how light it looks? But you can blend it into your skin and it's going to give you a very light sheen to your skin. You see it? Really pretty. Let me... Oops. Let me see. Can you see that? Let's see if we can put it on right now and see how that looks. So, you would definitely, if you have darker skin, need to blend this guy out. Like, for real, blend it out. But if you buff it in and blend it, it's going to give you a nice glow to your skin. Does it look too ashy? If it looks too ashy, it's going back. Uh-uh. Might be a little bit too ashy. So we're going to save the packaging for you. Because if you're too ashy... Let me balance it all to you and put it on the other side because... I'm going to look full full. So... I don't know. I got to play with this a little bit more. The thing about these products, you can blend them out or just mix them with things to kind of tone down the sheen. So we'll see. I really like how non-shimmery it is. It non-shimmery it is. It is radiant. You see it, right? But it's not like glitter bomb. Up close I see glitter. Let's not be let's not lie to you. There's some glitter. I see it. I see it. And then where's the bag? Oh, where'd I put the bag? <laughs> um, I grabbed some, uh, let's see, I grabbed an eyeshadow from Sugar Pill. Should I show you that? It was one of their, they have this limited edition sh glitter, um, pumpkin spice shade. You see it? Yes. So I got it. So I'll just show you since it's in the bag. It's a very flaky eyeshadow. I don't, do you see how pretty that is though? It really is pumpkin spice, right? I don't like the texture of it, how glittery it is, but you can blend it out or use it with Fix Plus or my favorite, the Smashbox Primer Spray. That's that. Then let's grab the, the other bag, because I just put things in here. I grabbed another Marc Jacobs The Face 3 brush. I wanted a backup because I use it for my foundation and I don't want to have to wash, 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 wash. So I grabbed the backup, perfect time to get a backup because I need it. And then I grabbed the Sephora Mud Mask, which people compare to, who is that? Who is that? What's that brand? Crap. I know, you know when you just get a brain fart, like I'm recording now and I'm just forgetting, but what is that Mud Mask? Something odd. Let me look it up. Glam Glow. That is what it is. So people compare this to Glam Glow and it's a cheaper alternative. Oh, it's charcoalish gray. It smells good. Doesn't smell like charcoal. But they compare this a lot to the Glam Glow. So I'm like, hello, Mega get it. And it's always sold out. So it's a purifying and mattifying zinc and copper mask. So should be good, right? Should be good. I'm interested. I am very interested. And then I also grabbed. Oh, here's this the other Stephen Klein eyeshadow from NARS. This is the shade Stud. And don't they have a stud? They have a stud, don't they? 
Or is it a... No, that's Coconut Groove. MAC has stud. It's a shimmery bronze shade. I'm so mad at myself that this isn't zooming in. That's the bronzy, the taupey shade. It's shimmery, it's glorious, it's beautiful. These two eyeshadows that I picked up from NARS are absolutely glorious. And then, I think, no, I have two um, concealers. I have two of them from Bare Minerals, their Bare Skin Concealer. They have the Bare Skin Foundation, which I didn't like. But these concealers, the Bare Skin Foundation that I didn't like. But I think I like, I like these. These remind me of the Sephora Gel Serum concealers, which I prefer. But I'm going to test these out some more. Maybe I just need to play with them some more. But I prefer the Sephora ones so far. And these, um, this one's cheaper, the Sephora one, obviously. So I got the shade Dark to Deep and Tan. Dark to Deep is their deeper shade. So... We'll see how that goes. And I grabbed two nail polishes. I grabbed two nail polishes from the Nails Ink Nail Kale collection. And these are supposed to have kale in them, which makes them better for your nails or something. I grabbed the shade Bruton Muse, which is a deep green. It's like an emerald green, though. I have a deep, rich, dark green, but I wanted to get this because it looked... Like it was more of an emerald green versus the really rich, almost black green that I have. So I'm going to try this guy. I can't wait. It's really pretty. Really pretty. And then I grabbed the nude shade. This one is Mount, Mount Pellier Walk. It's a pinky nude or a peachy nude. So that should be good. And I did grab a lip product. I grabbed this Bite Beauty. Um, cream deluxe lipstick. This is the limited edition lipsticks that come out. They do a limited edition hand cut lipsticks. Is it the hand cut ones? No, I think they just do a lab lip lab limited release. So they do different shades and this shade is the 11 fit. So this is the November 2015 shade which is a rich like rich mulberry burgundy red perfect for the holidays right so let's swatch this guy oh it's like a brownie tone wine red shade perfect for the fall then you know you know you're pretty it's a very rich dark shade so i think that no 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 lies lies i got one more thing i got these i got two of these from sephora it's their Baby palette. It's the baby palette, right? <laughs> it's called the baby. It's the Z palette for Sephora collection and this guy is the baby. It's called the baby and Looks like this this I got because sometimes I'm doing looks for you and I have my large Z palettes with my makeup forever eyeshadows in there, but I just want to put the eyeshadows that I'm gonna use in the look in the palette and just use it from this palette or just customize palettes to take with me but I don't want to take those big palettes and I have the smaller Sephora palette which holds nine of the little eyeshadow pans and this one is more expensive than the baby the baby is ten dollars this guy I think was 18 if I'm not incorrect and it's still 18 and why, why wouldn't I just get the baby why wouldn't I just get the baby for less so yeah the baby let me get the one that I want here's the baby so this is going to hold a lot more eyeshadows and it will hold the larger pans. Like I can fit probably eight of the Makeup Forever eyeshadows in here. So I got that. And that is it for my haul. Yes, that is it for the haul. I did get a couple of things from companies. So I'm going to show you that really quick and then we'll get into the recommendations. But I'll do that in a separate video because this video ran way too long already. From Too Faced. I got the chocolate bonbons palette and I have swatches on my Instagram page if you're interested in seeing these but I'm gonna do a video on this too it is the new edition of the chocolate bar palette so you know they had the chocolate the original chocolate bar they had the, the peanut butter one which <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't called peanut butter which one what was it called milk chocolate semi-sweet <laughs> that's what this one was I didn't do a video on this one but 
I did get it. Um, I wasn't thoroughly impressed with this one. I wasn't totally in love. It's not bad, but I wasn't totally in love as I was with the other palette. Oh, that highlight though. And this is the Bon Bon's one. So this one has heart shapes. People think it looks cheap, and it does. Like the pink is a little bit childish. The heart shapes makes it a little bit childish. I do agree. It's kind of like, oh, you're cutesy. I don't really need cutesy, fruitsy. But I like the palette and I'm gonna wear it some more and see what I think but this one has it has more neutral tones and pinky tones to it like warmer tones like warm pink red tones and then neutral tones not so much cool tones in this guy so that's that palette and then from um, Makeup Forever I got the palette the artist palette as I did my review on that already but I got some eyelashes from them as well they gave me they sent me some of their eyelashes because now they actually have eyelashes well they always had eyelashes but now they have more natural lashes and I wore these this one is the N405 and these are so beautiful I have a tutorial coming up for these yes where I wore these so beautiful lightweight feel really good on the skin so thank you to makeup forever again for sending that and then um hourglass actually reached out to me and sent me a couple of foundations they isn't this beautiful they sent me there and it's really well packaged like for real they have the little sticker that i tried to put it back together because i was like oh my god it's so pretty and they reached out to me but it's the immaculate foundation and they said, we hope you enjoy our Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation and look forward to hearing what you think. Thank you. Oh my god. I feel special. I feel, you guys, I am finally getting stuff from, co companies are sending me things and I feel if I didn't stick with it and like if I gave up and was like, oh, I'm just here for free, like if that was what I was in it for, I would have given up a long time ago. But I'm in it for the passion and the love of makeup and the fact that companies are now reaching out to me. And offering me things like I've gotten offers from starter brands, um, online brands, just brands and different websites that are trying to like just get people to do free advertising for them and free promotion for them. And I don't accept those. I really, I don't. You thank you, but no thank you. But these companies, when they reach out to you, they're not like, oh, do a review now and you have to do this. And they're just like, hey, like your content, like your channel. We'd like to send you some stuff. What's your shipping stuff? Your shipping info. They don't ask for anything in return. That's all they ask. And they sent me foundation. So I got the shade Sable. Which I think I have. I think I have this already. And I have the shade Sable I think. I think. But I have shade Sable. And the pump comes separately. And I have warm beige. Which I know is way too light for me. But I don't know if Sable is going to be too dark. So... They sent me two and I can always use it for highlight. We'll see. So thank you to Hourglass and thank you guys for sticking by me and believing in me because companies are beginning to believe in me too. So I got those and I'm really excited to try that. And that is it now for this haul video. Whew. So hopefully this random haul was entertaining for you guys and you probably saw some products that you were interested in or wanted to see whatever it is let me know in the comments below what you want to see me swatch and do like i said i'm doing the Too Faced one this comes out december 8th i was actually sent this by ipsy and Too Faced. they had a partnership and they reached out to me and i was able to get this ahead of time so I'm gonna do this do a review on this and everything and I got ample time to do a review so I'm gonna do that for you guys for that but anything else let me know what you want to see and we will talk about these things and I do have a makeup chat video coming up about you know anything that you want me to talk about so snap me tweet me Instagram me leave me a message in the comments on what you want me to cover in the makeup chat video because it's gonna be random it's gonna be whatever you guys want to talk about we'll talk about it so on to my next video which will be very soon I will talk to you I'll leave links to the stuff that I can remember down below in the description box stuff that I picked up and um, yeah links to my Instagram Twitter and Facebook page as well so you can follow along 
And until my next, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Did we forget to subscribe? Subscribe, subscribe, right here. And then until my next video, now we can wrap it up. I will talk to you soon. Oh, yes, that's, I'm not going to get into what else. I got a beauty blender, but that's, I got another one. I got another pro one, the black one. Anyway, yes, so until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you guys. Bye. Ooh, 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 ooh.